Ms. Ed Cox. Uh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, experience has shown in other places that it's not a good idea for recreational marijuana is, is, um, is not helpful. Um, uh, medical marijuana is a, is a different story. I, I know law enforcement has concerns about that as well, but that's a little bit of a different story and there may be some answers there, but I'm I want to have more information and see the experience in other other states. Governor, well, of course there hasn't been a statewide mask mandate, but with the Delta strain that's starting to kind of grow and a lot of health officials are getting more concerned about that, would you in any way, uh, would that change your stance or have you considered changing your stance on this mask? No, no, ma'am. I, th uh, I think we took the right approach from the beginning. Uh, we used common sense. We didn't, we, we tried to keep things open, not tried to close everything down. And as a result of that, our people are just as healthy or more healthy than they are in other, other states. And our economy, instead of being dead, is very much alive and, and we are, are, are really entering a really a boom period right now because of, I think, good common sense decisions that our team made as we entered the pandemic and as we're now coming out of it. Yes, uh, Sheriff Leon Lott has been in law enforcement, I think, about 40 years. I was there last night. We received that honor from the South Carolina Sheriff's Association, where the 46 sheriffs vote. And they chose him, and of course, he was also selected as the National Sheriff of the Year. Uh, it's quite an honor to be selected as the Sheriff of the Year by your peers in South Carolina. Uh, we've, we've been doing it for a number of years. It's, it's quite an honor. It's an honor for me to, to be there. But uh, again, I say I, I think we have the best law enforcement establishment in South Carolina. Uh, certainly is not any, any better anywhere in the country, and we're getting stronger and better all the time, and it's because of a lot of leadership in the, in the counties, uh, and Sheriff Leon Lott is a perfect example of that sort of vision and leadership. Well, the law enforcement is, is opposed to it still. It is it's still illegal under the federal law. Uh, some people say that doesn't matter, but I, I think it does. But I know there's a lot of suffering that is, uh, apparently is um, treatable or is helped with what they call medical marijuana. It's just like any other marijuana, but uh, used for medical purposes. But I've, I, I think we need to be very careful and, and be, be use common sense and see what experience has produced in other states before we move too quickly uh, to do or undo anything. Sounds like you're moving closer to the border here. Well, I, I want to know more about it. Uh, I'm very interested in law enforcement's view, particularly Chief Keel, who is, who is adamant about it in terms of the federal law. I mean, the federal law is, is illegal in, in the federal law. And we have federal law in South Carolina, of course, just like every other state. Governor, accelerate SC meeting later on today. One of the you know topics is going to be broadband expansion. How much more can we do to, to expand broadband? We want to expand it to where everyone in South Carolina is uh, has access to broadband. The, we've known uh, for telemedicine and telehealth and. Uh, of course, uh, all the educational opportunities that are offered by it to not only the young people but older people as well. Uh, with, without that kind of communication, uh, we, we will not achieve our full potential. I mean, I, you remember we, we didn't have the telephones everywhere for a while and didn't even have electricity everywhere. That's why we have the co-ops because the big companies, it was uh, cost prohibitive to go out in those areas. Well, the same thing is, is true now for for broadband, but getting that internet out to where all of our people have access to it is very, very important because there, there are a lot of things that, that can be done that way to save time, save money, and uh, you don't have to leave your house in order to go to the doctor or uh, receive educational materials and a lot, of, a lot of information that's very useful in the development of a family. 
Governor of South Carolina continues to be towards the bottom of the vaccination rates, and you, I guess, kind of literally shut the door on people going door to door to give out shots. Do you have any other suggestions or thoughts? Have you talked to DHEC about how you can increase vaccination rates in South Carolina and maybe well, save off a second uh, wave or third wave now, I guess? Well, we don't want to have any more waves, and it, of course, we're all watching all of those things uh, carefully, but I think the course we're on now is a good one. And that is, uh, you can go online, it's uh, very difficult. You can hardly go anywhere without finding some sort of information about where you can go to get a vaccination, when and where if you want to. And we've had got uh, thousands of locations all around the state. But that's a personal decision that should be made by, by every person. And so that's the way we want to do it. Make it available, make the facts, all the latest information available, and let people uh, make their own decisions. What's the issue with having somebody go door to door and just knock on somebody's door that might not know otherwise and say, we've got this vaccine? Which there, there are a lot of things the government can do, but that's not one of them. The, the, uh, the, the better approach is simply to have the information available, to, and it is readily available, the information on the vaccine, what it means or what the statistics are, as well as availability. And we've, we have... Uh, um, one time, remember, we had the National Guard out giving shots, so I don't think we're doing that anymore now. But uh, we have taken, in our state, have taken great steps to, to see that, that the vaccination, vaccine is available to anyone who wants it. Governor, I know DHEC uh, continues those incentive programs like shot with the chaser, or you go get a vaccine, you get a free ticket to a baseball game. What is your take on that? We know your stance on the door-to-door, -door, but what's your stance on incentive programs? Well, I think those uh, incentive programs are, 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 are good for some folks. That might be enough to get someone's attention, but the main thing is just getting their attention and so they can study or analyze information and decide whether they, they want to get a, a vaccination. That, that is the role of government is to make it available, is not to make everybody take it. And Governor, when with back to school just in five weeks and we mentioned the Delta variant, do you, how comfortable do you feel with testing for students, maybe potentially mandatory, or having vaccination clinics available at school? For ha ha having, th having things available is fine. Mandating is not. We've passed that point now. Even on testers, we we're, we're past that point at, at this time. Thank you, guys.